In this video, you will see how to transit in 15 minutes at Hong Kong International Airport. I just arrived at the Terminal 4 of Chang'e Airport in Singapore. Today, I'm going to go to Taiwan via Hong Kong with the Cathay Pacific Airline. I booked this ticket on Skyscanner, but I just had 15 minutes to transit in Hong Kong. If you fly to another country with Cathay Pacific, you must go through a security check at the main terminal. So I had to walk a long distance to the main terminal and return to the same route in 15 minutes for my transit. In Singapore, Cafe Pacific flights depart from Terminal 4 at Changi Airport, the worst terminal in Changi because of inconvenient access. Nevertheless, Terminal 4 itself is a very beautiful and functioning building, making it a great place to spend some time before boarding. Boarding started, the aircraft was a wide body A350-900. Because all passengers were seated quickly, the plane was already on the runway to take off at 6 p.m. The flight was smooth and safely arrived in Hong Kong on time. Arrival in Hong Kong at 9.20 p.m. Flight CX-716 landed in Hong Kong about 40 minutes ahead of the scheduled time. As soon as the plane's doors opened, passengers quickly got out of the plane to the airport main terminal. Okay, I just arrived at Hong Kong International Airport. I'm gonna go to a security check for transit. This is how international transfer works in Hong Kong. Passengers have to go to the main terminal for the security checks and then walk back again to the boarding gate for their connecting flights. Hong Kong International Airport is immense, so there is an underground transfer system called APM, which is Automated People Mover. It took about 10 minutes to reach the platform from the boarding gate. APM runs every two minutes between the concourse and the main terminal and you can reach the main building within 2 minutes. APM reached the main building. I had to walk long escalator again to find the transfer desk. It was 9.50 p.m. local time. 30 minutes had already passed after landing. Thank you for watching my video. If you like videos about airport transfer, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, I just finished the uh, security check and uh, I finished the transfer uh, process. I'm heading to the boarding gate. 10 p.m. local time. 40 minutes had passed since CX-716 landed on the airport runway. Okay, that's it. You will most likely miss your connecting flight if your layover is only 50 minutes. Luckily, I had an additional 40 minutes on that day. So I had enough time for transit. The airport in Hong Kong is a small city. We have a train from one, one building to another. We have to take a, a train, train to the boarding gate. After grabbing some snacks, I headed to the APM platform again to move to the boarding gate for Taipei. 10.25 p.m. local time. As soon as the APM arrived at Terminal 1 West Hall, I immediately ran up the escalator to walk to the boarding gate. After walking for 5 minutes, I finally arrived at boarding gate number 42. Okay, I just reached the boarding gate 42. I will check the uh, connecting flight to Taipei. 55 minutes was necessary to reach the boarding gate from the time my flight landed in Hong Kong if I subtract 20 minutes for taking a break. In conclusion, if you have only 50 minutes for international transfer in Hong Kong, you have a high chance of missing your connecting flight. Mike Kobayashi, Transit in 15 minutes, Hong Kong International Airport. I hope you found this information useful. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel.